hello hello in this video i'm moving on to bag two and we are going to be creating using napkins and some of this acetate i have i have i have three three ideas that i want to try out today um maybe more but we're going to be working with the napkins bag number two and we will obviously be using the journal pages that we created with the paper bags yesterday so let's move those aside and I'm just going to have a little look at these napkins okay I'm going to keep that one aside these ones are quite subtle I like those I'm going to grab that one too and maybe that one to start with um, yeah okay let's look at these two three right <clears throat> i'm going to start with something very very simple maybe one of these i've got my pen which is filled with water and i'm really sorry i'm not going to be quite with it today because my granddaughter was born this morning very early this morning. Um, first, first grandchild, super excited, very, very tired. I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna go for some music paper first of all. That's what I'm looking for. These are quite large. Let's look at this one. That's quite large too, isn't it? That's just a page. Right, I didn't actually want music paper with with text on okay found this one this is a little bit better um i have a lot of music paper somewhere somewhere but i don't know where now i want these busy pieces here so i'm gonna grab my napkin and this is the tip that i picked up from crafty Irina and I'm pretty sure most of us in this community did too. Um, I'm going to grab a piece of tape, pull that and then with that other sticky piece pull again. Most of these are three ply so let's remove that. Now I am going to use my distress collage medium for this. I'm going to move my book aside for a minute. I'm going to use my water pen. Just give that a bit of a squeeze to get some water out. Okay, I don't want the. Do I want the text? Uh, let's. Let, no. I don't want the text. So I'm just going to use my water pen gonna follow around here I want the bird and I think I'm gonna try and keep that text at the bottom we'll see if that actually works Right, I'm just going to rest that over there. So this is the piece I want. Now I'm actually, I'm not worried about losing any of this bit, so I'm just going to tear a little bit off that edge. There we go. Bring my book, bring my book back in. And I'm going to apply this somewhere here one of my glue brushes and I'm just going to apply my matte, um, me, well matte medium, my collage medium to that area of the page, lay this down and then working from the inside out I'm going to put another layer of glue over the top. A 
like so. So it's going to be a little while before this video is out. I might actually have mentioned by now when you're watching, I might have already mentioned my little granddaughter in another in another video. I don't normally talk about family stuff, but it just it's just so exciting. So exciting. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put that aside to dry. Now, I'm going to grab some gesso for this. And this is obviously going to take a little while to dry. Grab my roller. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of gesso down. And I'm going to roll this in. like that. I'm just going to dry this side and now I'm going to do the same on the other side but I'm going to be a little bit more careful this time. I'm going to grab some of my gesso out, get rid of the lump, roll this in I'm going to avoid the window as best I can. If a little bit goes over, that's okay. It's no big deal. That's going to be it for the gesso. So I'm now going to dry this area. I've got to be careful not to put too much heat on this plastic because it will shrivel it. Got a little bit of sticking out there. Now, which napkin... I think I'm going to go for this one. Right, I'm just going to take the back off this. Actually, I'm going to open this one out too, just to see what I've got. Right, this one kind of blends a lot better. So for this envelope, I'm going to use this napkin. My tape. Okay. Now, let me grab my, I know you can use watered down PVA, any white glue would do this without any problem at all. Now, <clears throat> I want my napkin to come around my envelope here. Now it's quite important when you're pushing your napkin down, you are doing it fairly gently. I'm not going to add more glue to the top at this moment because I want to remove the unnecessary napkin first. And to do that, I'm going to have to wait for this to dry. So I'm going to put that one aside. We'll come back to all of these. Before we move on to this one, I'm going to grab, I'm going to pull this back, I'm just going to grab this napkin again. I'm going to take the back off this way. Right, this is the one, <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm going to use everything, I'm going to use as much as I possibly can. <laughs> I know it's one piece, but I'm going to use as many as I can. Right. So I'm going to take out two pieces of this. I'm just going to put that piece down. I'm going to take my Actually, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this, is I'm going to take a pencil. I want that bird right in the middle. I'm just going to draw a pencil line around the 
plastic. Now to give it a kind of not very even edge, I'm going to use my water pen and I'm coming just on the inside of that line. Now this is a little bit wet, so I'm just going to give that a little dry. So I'm just going to lay it on a piece you probably can't, well you can just about make that out. I'm going to give that a bit of a clean. This is a piece of the spare napkin. Lay that down. Give that a clean. So we've got it sandwiched between our two pieces of plastic. Now, my plan is to sew and to add eyelets, but I think it needs a little something else in there. My new label box. And let's find a label. Right, this is Woodland. I think that might work. I think what I'm going to have to do is actually go round with my sewing machine first. So I'm going to do that and I will let you know how that works out. Okay, so you have to give it a little bit of a feed through, but that, um, I actually really like it. Now I'm going to use this label, just checking. Right, I'm going to ink my label. Actually, I have changed, changed my mind. I'm going to use some double-sided tape. Lift that. quite cute I do like that and now okay I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this I was going to put eyelets in the four corners but I think I'm going to leave that because I might do something further with it so that is napkin in the acetate love that the final thing I'm going to do in terms of the napkin is I have some of this this is some like handmade paper that's in those really cheap um, holiday kind of books that you find in charity shops. This is my last napkin. Before I use that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this to size to fit into this pocket. Now, I'm going to line it up so I can see the stitching. I'm going to grab my tear ruler. Just make sure I can see the stitching the other side too. And I'm going to tear along there. Very, very simple. And I want a little bit still sticking out of the top. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that away because I'm going to add something for a tab on there later. We're still just a little bit too wide. Actually, let's tear it by hand. Let's tear it by hand. We might get a much more organic look to that. This is quite fragile, this paper. It tears very easily. Let's see if that fits. I want to make sure it goes all the way down. It does. Now, I'm going to reinforce the back of this. So like I said, I'm reinforcing the back of this because the paper is quite fragile. I'm going to be applying glue to the other side and a napkin. So it's going to, 
it's going to improve the sturdiness of it but we're just gonna by adding this and it also means we're going to be able to sew hopefully through this paper with a lot less hassle there we go right same again i'm going to remove the back i'm going to pick where i want this to go I actually quite like that. That's quite nice. My water pen. Just going to go round the outside of the tag. Just going to give that a little dry. Decoupage is not usually my thing. So thank you to Corey for pushing me outside of my comfort zone. I haven't done a lot of this for a long time. I do have a video from, oh, I don't know, three, maybe four years ago now, where I made some decoupage tags using napkins, but it's been a while. Put that down. I'm going to have a little crease there. That's okay. over with another layer and because this is quite a textured paper you need to push that glue and napkin into that texture While the glue is wet, you can remove some of these extra pieces of napkin. If you wait till it dries, you might want to use a little emery board or a piece of fine sandpaper just to take those edges off. Obviously it's quite sticky. <laughs> Okay, so we have that piece now, which also needs to go aside to dry at our bird. That's lovely. I'll tear this paper out. Move over to my pages. I'm going to take this one. So I want roughly 11 and a half to 12 centimeters and that's pretty much the width of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear my first straight line down here okay and I'm going to make sure this is going to fit I think that's going to be pretty perfect actually pretty perfect fit I'm going to tear And then we could probably get a small amount of the music paper from that bottom saving too. I'm going to have to tear fairly close to his tail. That's perfect. I'm loving that. Um, now, I'm not just going to glue this down. I'm going to sew and I'm possibly going to ink first. So let's get the ink out. I'm using my brush and this is my lovely new Corey stand. I have them both here. Corey stand one and two. They go beside my board. Perfect, perfect, perfect they are. Do you know, I think we might need a little bit of stamping on here. Grabbed my... field notes let's do identification check I'm going to use my archival ink I 
don't want to go completely over the top here. I think this number would look quite good in this gap at the bottom. Lovely. So that's looking pretty cool. I'm just wondering if we should do anything else to this. No, I'm going to sew around. Okay, that one is now done. So I'm going to glue this down later. It's, it's not something you need to watch me do, but that will be glued down. Now this one. Right, I'm going to cut off the spare so we don't have loads showing. I'm not going to go too close because we're going to file some off shortly. Where I've got where it's not stuck, because obviously I didn't glue everywhere, I'm just going to tear that off carefully by holding down the area that's glued and just ripping around the edge. Now don't forget, I haven't actually glued the top of this one as yet. And I'll go ahead and um, file the rest of this off shortly. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little watermark in the middle of that envelope area. Make a little hole and I'm just gently going to tear to the edge of that glue very very carefully if you're worried you can add a little bit of water here and there just to kind of make sure you're not tearing off too much but just take your time you don't need to rush this okay i've got all of those last little bits off happy with that so now I am going to glue over the top. Um, but that is the start of our envelope. I'm quite liking that. That obviously needs to dry now again too. So what we have so far is we have our pocket we have our tag that's drying and we have our little acetate piece made so far with decoupage. So once this is all dry, I'll come back and we'll just finish these off. Wanted to show you what I've done to this one. It was actually quite a bit too tall. So I cut the bottom off and I used that strip to reinforce the edge. I used a scrap of the music paper we used in the collage and um, just did a little bit of stamping on that, inked it up and I've just glued it into place behind that window. I've sewn around the envelope and the tab, I kind of sewed the tab before I glued it on because I couldn't sew here, I'd close the page. So that is almost done. I just want to do a couple of little things to this. Um, a lot of the main decorating we're going to do a bit later because I, what I want to do is go through the envelopes for the challenge first of all. So grab my black ink. I'm going to grab the text stamp. I'm going to put a little bit there. And I'm going to do this upside down and put a little bit there. That already looks a whole lot better. I've done a little bit of stamping on the back, not too much. I think I want to use something off this. Let's just do the letters. I'll grab a stamping block. I know it's not going to go completely, but let's do the end half of the alphabet, shall we? And I'm going to ink this fairly heavily and I'm just going to come in across these daffodils and we're probably going to have a little bit left so let's go a little bit more up there too and across 
across there and across the bottom here. Now on this side, I think I'd like this across here. There we go, love that. Another one I don't use very often. I should get that out really. That's this one. You can see I've used that one. Again, we all kind of have one stamp that we use more often in a set than in, in, than others. And I'm just going to use that on that gap. There we go. Fairly bland, but it's a good start and can still be worked on top of. Okay, so this one I'm actually quite happy with. It's quite subtle on the back. There's still room to... Um, do a little bit of journaling if you want to alternatively it could be paper could go over this to be written on um, so that is another page for our journal now I'm going to come to our, our tag next so I've just obviously inked this and this has been stuck on the back now I found a piece of sari that goes quite well with this and I had initially found a rusty paper clip, but I went back. I went back because we are doing this swap challenge. So I've gone back to bag number one and I've pulled out one of the um, safety pins. I'm just going to slot that on. I don't want a lot of fabric at the top here. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to put the smallest bead of glue along the edge of this safety pin and fold that over just hold that in place for a moment now i have left oops the top half of the pin open so if i wanted to add something to that i still can now i'm going to take my tag I'm going to slot it in. I'm going to put a small bead of glue along there. Close that. We can turn it over and glue that back piece. Now, like I said, I've got a lot of kind of decorating ideas planned that won't come until later on. That's not very central, but I like it. I like it. Um, I'm going to sew around here. So that, that's my tag. Um, I might come back and do more to it at the moment. I'm not going to. Right, now that can go in the pocket. Love it. Now, while I was looking at the, for the sari silk, I found this little embellishment which is a similar colour, I thought that would work. And I also pulled out a paper scrap that I kind of liked underneath that. I've got an old length of cotton, some random fabric and a little bit of cheesecloth. That probably won't work. I'm just gonna snip a piece of cheesecloth off. There. Now, what I'm gonna do this is just a little tip for making life easy when you're using threads is I'm gonna put a couple of staples in here like that I've got some of this spare music paper and I'm going to attach this to this just to reinforce that paper because that book page scrap this page this scrap is very very thin so I'm going to turn this over But what I am going to do is just put a little bit of glue under that cheesecloth. Okay, I'm loving that. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do is just areas that are not stuck, I'm going to add some glue. So, loving it. And that I'm going to attach here. I wonder if we can use that. Oh. Just cut a piece of that. Not very straight. If that 
fabric. Let's see. Give that a tear. Right, which is the straight edge. I'm just gonna, this was the paper clip I was gonna use at the top, but let's use it down a bit lower. I don't have a lot of scope. Right, I'm gonna put a stitch along here so it looks as though it's sewn on. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue along here and a little bit of glue along there. Add that to our piece. Yep, very happy with that little piece. So I'm not gonna glue this into places yet because I'm gonna do some splatters on the bag, um, I've decided. I may even do some stamping. That one wasn't really very, that one wasn't very napkin based, <laughs> but that's a lovely little piece. Um, I've clipped this one onto the bag at the moment. That may well change. So we've got our decoupaged music paper and we have our envelope, re recycled envelope. So that is a few little bits done using bag number two. I hope you like it and I am looking forward to moving on to bag number three. Bye.